So everybody is aware that the food industry is, you know, the food demand in Asia is growing. And everybody is telling us that this is a great opportunity for food, but they don't say that. Uh, I've listened to the politicians in this domain and what they talk about is that this is a great opportunity for our agricultural commodity. That is not the right thing to say. Commodities, there is only one country in the world that's managed to become rich based on commodities. And that's because they saved the 78% resource tax they put in, in a way that the politicians couldn't waste the money. And the name of that country is Norway. Nobody else became rich on commodities. So if we, if the, if we are not going to have the global Asian food boom go us past without contributing to our prosperity as a nation, we have to dramatically increase the value add that we have to these raw materials. That means we have to sell lactose-free milk to China rather than skim milk powder. It means we have to sell gluten-free bread rather than grains. Because if you stick to those raw materials and commodities, the companies themselves will not make a lot of money. That means they can't pay the farmers a lot of money. And that means that there is not a lot of money left over for the prosperity we have. So we need to have a mind set change, very important, and we need to do that now so that the mistakes that we have done around the mining boom is not repeated around the food boom.